Shelley, we are on lap five of 26, and these two are running away with it. Back here live at Jerez, this is the battle for the lead. Alvaro Bautista, we knew he would be at the sharp end, but we really didn't have any idea at all that Marco Simoncelli would be up there and riding so aggressively. The guy in second position started from ninth. He's on the number 58, Jalera. And they are romping away with this one. Third is ahead of that Jalera of Simoncelli. And Toby, it's 143.7 again to the pair of them. Bautista is banging in metronomic laps and Simoncelli is just dogging his wheel tracks. Interesting scenario. 43.9 for the pair of them this time round. Question is, will Simoncelli's softer front tyre go the distance? It all out style of Simon Jelly. Mm. I didn't think you could get a 250 in those shapes for this long and stay on two wheels. I didn't think you could get that amount of hair underneath a crash helmet. Alvaro Bautista, he's got a medium compound Dunlop front. Simon Jelly's got a soft. Now we're into the crunch time with regards to tyres because they've got the same compound of rear tyres. So it's the front that's going to be difficult. And by definition, oh, Alvaro having a bit of a slow exit to the final corner there. And by definition, Alvaro. Bautista is carrying less weight because he's a smaller guy and there is no equilibrium rider and bike such as there is in 125 Julian. I think we'll enjoy Simon Chelly's white boy afro on the rostrum as long as he gets there. It is, if you think Lionel Richie circa the Commodores, you have an idea of its dimension. Oi! No wonder he nearly tailgated him there. That was a close one from Bautista. Uh, Alex de Bon likewise has lost a position, he's now seventh, the man who started from third position. Cracking on down the back straight, these two leaders are, they have a lead of exactly the back straight. Last time round, 44-6 to Bautista, 44-5 to Simon Jelly. Third position going to Mika Calio, and he's through, ahead. But they were di they're both looms, but in a thoroughly different way. Alvaro fools you completely by being the smarliest, nicest kid on the block. Simon Jelly's wild, woolly and crazy. Pacini and Hiro Oyama drifting over the top of the hill. Absolutely caning it down the back straight. Imre Tote about to be lapped down the bottom of the hair. But Thomas is down from fourth. Luti has crashed out of fourth position. Visor off, bike in the gravel. And Thomas Luti, no points at the moment. Meanwhile, normal service has been resumed. 144.6 for the pair of them. And Bautista now starting to make some nasty shapes going into the corner. Simoncelli exits right on his rear wheel, right in the slipstream. He's look at the wrong out. way! You look at the wrong way and they nearly touch as they come past. Them. And now Marco Simoncelli leads the Grand Prix. Can he keep the cool head now and keep Bautista behind him? And Bautista bike back straight away. I, I was shocked. He looked the wrong way and all of a sudden... He, he could lose a race with that. Well, is it Simon Celli who's been keeping a card up his sleeve? And it's now about his chief charging for home. That was a close one. Look at Bautista, looks one way and almost touches the rear Dunlop of Marco Simoncelli, who is now going to do two and a half qualifying laps here in Spain. Simoncelli finally leads the Grand Prix. Bautista, who's headed it for most of the time, is now second and on the back foot. Oh no, not... Well, the fastest lap of the race so far has been set by Simoncelli. These two have got have they got space to play around in. They're eight seconds ahead of Mika Kallio. No playing here, mate. Flat let us, out. Let us not forget that Takahashi has now come up to fourth now that Thomas Luti is out of the equation. Great ride from Yuki. And Barbara now fifth with Debon right behind him. Two and a half laps. And he's looked over. And that's a chance for Bautista, who's kept his powder dry. Always oh, let him through. Anything you can do. I can do better. Eight seconds they've got to play with. I said that half a lap ago, and they are going to play with it. Now, technically leading is Alvaro Bautista. The lap time was a 145.0 and a 145.2. Nothing really to write home about. They are going to just have a bit of a play. I can't imagine his team manager's state of mind at the moment. <coughs> 
Qatar. If he is a championship favourite, which he is, he needs a win and a, and a, and a post. He doesn't need to crash. Simoncelli can actually afford to lob it. Well, Simoncelli's not a championship contender. Yeah, it's yeah. win or bust for, yeah. for Simoncelli. I do, is he actually toying with Bautista here? I'm, I think he, he left the door open at the final corner. Well, he, he looked over his shoulder, left him plenty of room. He's confident then, isn't he? Bautista leads by, technically, oh, it's a 44-6. Quite a bit quicker, by about half a second the last time round. No toying now, it's going to be hell. Exactly, Toby, half a second, a full half second quicker than the previous lap. Let's get back to the leaders. Bautista was less than a tenth in front. Behind that commentary position, I can tell you that Alvaro Bautista still leads this Grand Prix. Look at the speed again, and they touch! Oh, no! They both go down the lunatic manoeuvre by Simoncelli, and now Mika Calio leads the Grand Prix. Alvaro Bautista cannot believe it. He's not even going to bother to get the bike up, and the last lap drama has happened here again in Spain. Simoncelli, you don't pass there. Guess it's going to be third.